Hey, what's up, guys? This is Garage Sale Addict back again, and today I'm going to talk about your Amazon FBA taxes and uh, what you can do for your taxes, uh, all the accounting stuff that uh, really applies to filling out taxes. So, what I'm going to do, I'm just really starting out, so um, beginning in January, it's December 10th right now, 10th or 11th, and uh, so starting January 1st, I'm going to uh, build a couple spreadsheets of the income statement and my balance sheet for my business. And uh, a lot of accountants who are doing the taxes normally would like an itemized list of all the stuff you sell. So that's something you can do through the Amazon seller dashboard. You can go to your reports and uh, pull up an itemized list of all of your sales and then you also have you also have to say how much the item cost you uh, which can be kind of difficult but um, if you buy lots of stuff what you can do is um, say you bought a hundred games for five hundred dollars then you can just say each of these games cost me five dollars instead of, uh, or if you spent $500 at an auction and you bought 200 things, then you can say each of these cost me $2.50. So really, um, you can just uh, calculate how much you spent the auction, or um, if you're buying on eBay, or if you're buying at Walmart, you would have the receipts. But it's really for auctions and eBay auctions, and you can just say, this is the average amount that I spent instead of I spent twenty on this item, spent a dollar on this item, spent two dollars on this one. You can just say your average one. So that might help a little bit with uh, filling out your taxes. And also I know on eBay if you have twenty thousand dollars in sales then they make you they make you file your taxes. I'm not really sure on Amazon it might be the, close to that. Uh, I'm sure it's close to that. But um, that's what how it is on eBay. That's all I really know. Uh, since I'm just now getting Amazon FBA and everything, and uh, getting going. And also make sure that on your taxes you calculate all of your expenses that you're using towards your business. This can be your phone. This can be um, some of your apps that you're purchasing. So maybe if you're purchasing Profit Bandit, then uh, you're going to get that $15, $20 a month uh, filed on your taxes. If you're spending, uh, if you have a storage unit, you would put that there. Um, maybe your Wi-Fi or a portion of your Wi-Fi. Um, definitely do mileage because you can get back around uh, 50 cents a mile is what our accountant said. So that's really good. Uh, some semi drivers don't even make that, so it's actually really good for filing on your taxes. Um, that's really all I can think of right now. Um, so I think that's about it. Uh, if you have any questions about this, you can comment below or send me a message, and we'll I can find an answer for you if I don't have it, and uh, we'll both learn something then. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.